Hello everyone. The Lord has told me to make a video without showing my face to admonish carnal Christians, especially those who have a great, um, what, sh what should we call it? A great sphere of influence, a large following, lar large size platforms, or large followings on platforms. So I'm going to open in prayer and invite the Lord's presence, and then we're going to dive into the points that he told me that he wanted me to make. Father God, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth, I invite your presence right now, Lord. I invite your conviction and your revelation. I plead the blood of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth over this video, this phone, camera, technology, this video, this channel, this ministry, over myself, my body, soul, spirit, and domain, my mouth, my tongue. I ask Lord in the name in <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I ask Lord in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth, will you please put a hot coal over my tongue and prevent me from saying anything that is not coming from you. Father God Yahweh, Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth, Holy Spirit. In the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth, I loose the conviction of the Holy Spirit of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth through this message, this video. I ask, Lord, in the name of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth, that you would have this video reach those you want it to reach, and that it would convict them, that it would pierce any hardened hearts, and if possible, any seared consciences. And I ask, Lord, that you would use this as a final warning to those who need it. I invite you, Jesus, <clears throat> Yeshua, to come and have your way here and speak and say whatever it is you want to say, Lord. I know the basic outline, but if you want to take over, Lord, you are more than welcome. I invite your presence. I invite your words. Let it be your words and not my words, Lord. I invite the fire of the Holy Spirit to come and rest upon me and upon this video. And I just say, have your way, Lord. I submit and surrender to you. In the name of Yeshua, the Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Okay, so point number one. Carnal Christians, especially the ones who have large followings, large spheres of influence, the Lord is rebuking you for the false doctrines that you are teaching, that you are influencing people. They are his sheep, they are his lambs, and they many of them are e very easily influenced and many of them will just go and regurgitate whatever it is you say and they will do whatever it is you say and yes each person is responsible for their decisions but you being that you have such a sphere of influence the lord will be holding you especially to a higher level of accountability. He says you are the church of Laodicea. You are led by your intellect, your own depraved rationale, instead of by the revelation of his Holy Spirit. And he has had enough of the false doctrines that you are teaching. Some of them being so ludicrous, so unfounded, that it is amazing how people are still regurgitating what you say, doing what you say. Some recent examples that came to my attention today, that the Lord brought to my attention today, 
it's interesting how the Lord works. He always makes sure to bring things to me that he wants me to address as his mouthpiece. I had no idea of what some particular people were teaching because I don't pay attention to them. But he made sure to bring it to my attention today that apparently people are teaching false doctrines about what it means to be a Berean. As well as what it, what, what constitutes, what the criteria is to have a ministry. There's all kinds of false doctrines out there, but those are just two of the things that, that was brought to my attention today and that the Lord is disgusted with. <laughs> Perhaps I will circle back around to elaborate on that. Point number two that ties in. The Lord is rebuking you carnal Christians, you Church of Laodicea influencers, led by your own depraved rationale, your own depraved intellect. He is rebuking you for how you are influencing people to go and attack, to criticize and falsely accuse his truly ordained anointed ones, his true prophets, his true teachers. You're doing the work of Satan. Satan is adversary, enemy. You have a great sphere of influence and you are teaching people to attack God's anointed ones. You are teaching people a false way of testing God's anointed ones. And he is disgusted with this. And the Lord told me not to say any names, but there is one person in particular that he is quite disgusted with. And this person was warned several months ago, this past autumn. And this person has had time to repent. And it seems they are just going further and further into their <laughs> digging their own grave, really with the Lord I'm hearing the Holy Spirit say that this is your last warning the third thing that the Lord wanted me to particularly say was to remind of what his Logos word says which is that every idle word that you speak you will have to give an account for on Judgment Day. To be a Berean means to study the Logos Word of God diligently. It means to seek the revelation from the Holy Spirit. To hide his word in your heart. You carnal Christians, you Church of Laodicea influencers, are leading people in the exact opposite dire direction. in terms of being a Christian. You go against the word of God directly in so many ways. This is your final warning to repent. To have a ministry is something that is completely led organically by the Holy Spirit. 
it has nothing to do with the evil, wicked systems that the evil, w wicked men of this world have created and implemented to control and oppress and abuse the masses. The Lord sees every single thing you're doing. He hears every word you're saying. And he is watching the effect that you're having in his church, in his body, with his sheep and his lambs. He sees all the ripple effects. And you are moving him to anger. And he will be laying his fist down soon. That's, that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing the Lord. I'm, I'm seeing his fist. I'm seeing the Lord's fist, his angry fist. <clears throat> Lord, is there anything else you want me to say right now? Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. He now wants me to address those who are following these people. Subscribe to these people, following these people, allowing yourselves to be influenced by these people. He wants me to remind you that you are responsible for all of your free will decisions. And you are also responsible for every idle word you communicate. And you all will be responsible for touching, quote unquote, his anointed ones falsely accusing them, abusing them, persecuting them. That's all written, it's all recorded in your book of life that will be opened up and read back to you on Judgment Day. You better dig in to the Word of God, not just with your intellect, but you better seek the revelation of the Holy Spirit of Yeshua the Christ of Nazareth to know how to interpret it accurately how to comprehend it accurately, how to digest it, how to apply it. And you need to repent of stroking the ego of these carnal Christian influencers. You need to seek the Lord to open your spiritual eyes and ears and see that these people are not of God. They are going directly against his word, his spirit, his character, his kingdom, his Holy Spirit, the leading of his Holy Spirit. Because these carnal Christian influencers are doing the devil's work. And now you're doing the devil's work because you are allowing them to influence you by regurgitating what they say and doing whatever they tell you to do. Every decision a Christian makes should be discussed with the Lord first. You should be conferring with Jesus on every decision. Who do you subscribe to? Who do you listen to? Who do you allow to influence you in your ear gates? And when someone says something, you go to Jesus and you ask him about it. 
you ask Jesus about each influencer, about each person, and about every single word that they say, every doctrine they put out, every definition, every doctrine. Ask Jesus to reveal to you the truth of someone's heart, their character, where they're at spiritually, their heart posture. Stop subscribing to false doctrines. Stop regurgitating false doctrines. And stop allowing carnal Laodicea pawns of the devil to influence you to then go and persecute the true prophets and teachers and fivefold ministers of God. Yes, the people who are influencing you, they will be held to a higher level of accountability, but you are still going to be held at your own level of accountability on Judgment Day. Everyone will be held accountable for every idle word that they have communicated, every decision they have made. We are in the tribulation. We are heading toward the point of everything collapsing and not being able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast. You need to start thinking that through and discussing it with the Lord. Not just in your own intellect. You need to start asking for revelation and instruction from Jesus. There's too much intellectual discussion going on and not enough discussing with Jesus going on. There's not enough intimacy going on with the Lord. Prayer. Prayer is conversation with God. There's not enough listening going on in terms of going into your prayer closet and listening to what the, to what Jesus is saying. You listen to all these other people, all these carnal Christian influencers. Are you listening to God himself? Are you listening to Jesus? Are you even asking Jesus what he says? Or are you just listening to XYZ YouTube channel and then going and regurgitating what they say and doing whatever they say blindly. Because that means you're idolizing that person. That means you're in idolatry. Repent of your idolatry. And as far as these carnal Christian influencers, a lot of them are reeking of pride. And the Lord says, your pride is going up my nostrils and I am disgusted. You got all these people stroking your ego and you allow it. And you stroke your own ego. And you think you're untouchable just because you've got XYZ amount of subscribers or followers. Stroking your ego, telling you how great you are. None of that's going to matter on Judgment Day. Repent. Repent. This is an official warning to repent. The carnal Christian influencers and the subscribers, the followers, repent. Drop it all. Stop dead in your tracks and seek Jesus. Ask him what he says about everything that you're doing, that you're hearing, that you're saying. Humble yourself. 